Well, good evening. For the first time since the legislative session began, we are hearing from South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. She touched on a wide range of issues, from the Keystone XL pipeline to the investigation of a deadly car crash involving South Dakota's Attorney General. Kettleland's Tom Hansen has the story. In November, South Dakota voters approved the use of recreational and medical marijuana. After the election, Governor Nome arranged for private law firms from Sioux Falls and Belfouche to challenge recreational marijuana in state court. In the meantime, Nome says the Departments of Revenue, Health and Public Safety are working to make sure the state is prepared if the lawsuit fails. But this litigation um, has some valid points going forward. It will not uh, be resolved before session is over. So that's why we're working with legislature, legislators to make sure that we're adequately prepared and that the planning is there to implement responsibly if necessary. A court hearing on the issue is scheduled for next Wednesday in circuit court. A team of prosecutors had hoped to have a decision on whether South Dakota Attorney General Jason Roundsburg will face charges by Christmas, but almost a month later, still nothing. Roundsburg says he hit something on Highway 14 near Highmore the night of September 12th. At first, he said he thought it was an animal. The next day, the body of 55-year-old Joe Beaver was discovered in the ditch. I continue to call it a grave disservice to the victim's family. I'm disappointed that we haven't seen um, some action taken by the state's attorneys involved and uh, hope that certainly soon that they will. Um, we make inquiries on a regular basis and have gotten no answers. The first round of executive orders signed by President Joe Biden included revoking the Keystone XL pipeline permit. Well, we'll continue to have conversations with the administration, and I'm not certain if we have other options at this point. Um, it still continues to remain a priority for me, but I'm certainly focused on what I can do here in South Dakota. Like Nome, TC Energy, the company building the pipeline, said it was disappointed in the action to remove the presidential permit, and the company plans to challenge it in court. Tom Hansen. Kelloland News. And Governor Nome was also asked about the possibility of inviting President Joe Biden to South Dakota for the Mount Rushmore fireworks. She says that she would love to have Biden come to South Dakota for the event. President Trump attended the 2020 celebration.